Excuse me, where's 35th main? Oh, it's uh, straight and the next left. Thank you. Hey! Hey, look who is here! Hi, how are you? Welcome, my friend, to my new house. How is it? It's good though, but everything feels dark out here. You should have considered Vastu before purchasing. Vastu? Hey friends, this is Kirtan here. Having a good smile in our faces, let's start this video, which will be on Vastu. What actually is Vastu? Heard somewhere, we'll define it for you. Vastu is termed as a science of architecture. How to digest? Mm, let me put it in this way then. Vastu is an ancient guide for a perfect home, which means that Vastu will specify the best location for an individual room and commodities in your house so that we can get a maximum benefit from the mother nature. Expecting a good sunlight, good ventilation and a peaceful life within your home? Obviously, yes. If that is the case, we should follow Vastu. So now, let's start knowing minimum requirement that is to be met to have a Vastu perfect home. Before that, let's know the directions. I am considering a plan of 2 BHK as you see on the screen. Start drawing the diagonal lines from a corner to the other corner. The intersection of two lines will give you a center. Now place the directions matching with the side directions obtained by a compass exactly on the intersection point. Thus, we get the directions of the flat. Now, we have 8 directions with us. We will discuss about suitability of rooms in these directions. If you follow the screen, Northeast is preferred location to have a puja and living room. Southeast is preferable to have a kitchen. Southwest is preferable to have a master bedroom. Northwest is preferable to have a washrooms. Next, we will learn a bit more about directions. Northeast is a direction where water element resides. Southeast is a direction where fire element resides. Southwest is a direction where earth element resides. Northwest is a direction where air element resides. Northeast is also referred as a Ishanya that resembles a region of God. Southeast is a region of Agni which means fire. Southwest is referred as Asuras which resembles demons. Northwest is a region of Vayu that is wind. So now we got some ideas about directions. Let's jump into suitability of rooms in particular directions. We will now start with Northeast corner also known as Ishanya corner which is best suited for Puja room. A better option to have a living room in this corner as well. It is preferable to have open spaces in this corner such as sit-outs, verandas, etc. Never have a toilet or septic tank in this corner. Placing a heavy object is to be avoided in this corner and this region is to be made clutter-free as possible. Since it is a corner where water element resides, it is preferable to have a water body such as aquarium in this corner. Moving on, we have southeast corner. As we know, this is a region of fire, thus it will be a best choice to have a kitchen in this corner. Ensure that toilet and bedroom should not be placed in this corner of a flat. Next, we have southwest corner. This corner is best suited for master bedroom, which is used by the head of the family. The bedroom in the southwest direction brings a good health and prosperity. Not a good region to have a kitchen, puja and toilets. Also ensure this corner of a house does not have a door opening towards exterior. Northwest corner, a region of wind which is best suited for toilets and washrooms. A secondary option to have a kitchen, preferred location to have a guest bedroom, not a preferred location to have a puja room. Vastu Shastra is an ancient guide for a positive home. Right from the entrance of a house to the bedroom, kitchen, bathroom, puja room, it will specify a preferable location. As I was telling, you, hey, hey guys, not that house. I'm 
I'm here. Come over, follow me. The house you see, we will check whether this house is built as per Vastu standards or not. Yeah, we have an entrance door which is facing east, which is a good option. Let's have a look into other preferable locations that will be north and northeast corner. South and west are least favorable location. Let's go into living room, which is spread around northeast region. Lighting is quite good. We have windows in both north and east wall. No heavy object is placed in northeast corner. It is preferred to have an aquarium in northeast corner of a living room. So that's a thumbs up for a living room. Look, there is a puja room. It is in its preferred location. That is northeast corner. The door is facing east. West facing door is another option. That's a good sign. No complaints about puja room. Let's go into kitchen now. As expected, it is located in preferred location that is southeast corner. Second best direction would be northwest corner. Uh, okay. There's no window towards east and also cooking platform is facing westwards which is not recommended as per Vastu standards. Vastu states one should face east and cook. So slightly disappointed with kitchen. Can you please open the door? Thank you. This is master bedroom which should be in southwest as it is located now. A very important note, while sleeping, ensure that your head is facing south or east. Attached washroom should be in west side. Wardrobes, safe, etc. are to be placed in southwest corner of a bedroom. The preferred location for a children's bedroom is north or northwest. And a guest bedroom is to be placed in east or northwest corner. This room looks fine. Next, washrooms are being provided in northwest corner confirming Vastu standards. Excuse me, important call, I need to attend. I'll be back shortly. Until then, keep thinking. Thank you.